Hello everyone. So today we're going to take a look at inserting data into our database from the form um, and then we can start getting into the cool stuff like retrieving the data and editing it and building up a proper application from this. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is this is going to end up being our add customer form I have decided and then we're going to make like a main form where we can call this form from it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, rename it. Oh yeah, I've got to close it first. Yes, save changes. Um, so if I rename this to FRM add customer and I'm going to... Uh, just change it in here as well, add a customer, it's the caption, um, I think that's it, yes, right, um, and then I'm also going to change my button and let's call that CMD add customer and then caption add, um, let's change this add customer and oh yeah sorry rid of that and I think that's everything let me just check if that compiles yep I might have missed something if I did we'll figure it out after I'm sure um okay okay so let's delete our customer ID um, from here and that's because um, when we set up this table um, our customer table um, the customer ID field is an identity field um, if you want to know more about that please check out my SQL server series um, I go into all the details about what that is but basically with it being um, like an incrementing number field we don't need to insert that field because SQL will populate it for us um, but we still do want to use these fields and we'll add in all of the other ones later on because I think I need to talk to you about nulls as well. I'll probably make a separate video on that um, and then we'll add the other fields in as well. So what we're going to do now is in our sub we've renamed it here to add customer to reflect the fact that we have renamed the form. And then what we're going to do is our select statement here we no longer need so let's just get rid of our where clause and then let's change this statement to be our insert statement so if we were to write this in SQL for example let's write it here just because then we can see the syntax colors and stuff we would say insert into company x tbl customer and the field names that we would want to use are these ones because these are the ones in our form Let's copy that into here. So insert into there. And then we now need to tell it the, um, the data to put into these fields now. So what I like to do is, oops, I like to separate it onto new lines because um, I think it makes it look nicer. Um, so to make a new line in VBA, you just add an, add an ampersand and an underscore um, and then it will basically treat this as if it's a continuation. So I'm just going to say select and then we're going to need to parse the values from our text boxes um, into this um, string which can then be executed um, against our database. So it gets a little bit complicated with with them being strings. So for example because first name and surname and actually the date of birth is going to be a date. I think let's just we're just going to use first name and surname for now actually let's take date of birth out for this example um, because in the next video I will go through um, how to cope with nulls and how to format the data properly so for this example let's just use first name and surname because they're both strings so we need to do select and then we need to add our first single quote because 
as we would know if we were to type something into SQL, sorry, I'm skipping around everywhere here, aren't I? If we were to type there, select, and then just try to type John, we know now that we know that, that wouldn't work. Um, sorry, my date thing's not connected. See, we would have to put, oh, and also I've not put the right amount of fields in there, but we would know that we have to type the single quotes around there for SQL to recognise that it's a string. And it's exactly the same um, when it's coming from our form in the way that we still need to wrap the single quotes around it so that SQL recognises the fact that it's um, varchar fields. So we've got our single quote, then we just need to put an ampersand and then text first name dot value and then another ampersand and then we want to carry on with our string so we've then got to end the single quote and then let's do a comma and a new single quote speech marks ampersand text surname dot value um, and then we need to close off the single quotes in the string oh gosh I can't type today sorry it's been a long day and actually I can show you what this works we'll pause there in a second um, when we run it so that we can actually output the string um, but to stop you from doing these you can make um, a module that will just format everything properly for you um, and like I said we'll go through that next so what we would want to do here is, um, but whereas before we were opening up a record set, we're now not doing that uh, because we're not going to return anything um, from this. So what we want to do instead is we're just going to say dbcon.execute and then SQL string. So that's just saying there, execute this command against that connection. And we've already opened it there with connect database. Let's get rid of this record set thing. Um, and then we no longer need this. And we do want to reset the form afterwards because then we can add another customer. Um, so let's just comment out this block for now because we'll steal it later when we add it into the um, search part on the main form once we create it. So let's just check if this works for now. So if I run this form here and if I type in John and Smith, we can see there that I've got a break point here. So it's going to break there so that I can show you what that would look like here. So if I take that SQL string and have a look at it down here in my immediate box, we can see here exactly what it's created from this string here. And that's what it's going to execute against our SQL connection. So if I drag that down here, here into SQL, we can see there um, that that is a valid SQL command there. So uh, I'm just going to stop that and get rid of my breakpoint. So now let's just run that properly. And if I press add there, we can see it's cleared the form. Actually, I should have put a message box saying save, but we'll sort that out later as well. Um, and oh sorry I deleted that field earlier didn't I I'll remove that from the schema I pasted into the last video um, but we can see here now that we do have our insert there for John Smith and if we pick a, another one let's have Jane Jones press add and let's take a look there and we can see there that's been inserted. So happy days. <laughs> so that's how we insert data into our database. Um, so next we're going to take a look at formatting the data that we're inserting so that we can then add the rest of the fields to our form. Um, and I think we should also put in a message box. So yes, that's pretty much it then. Um, if you found this tutorial useful, please do like it and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below. Thank you for watching.